today's experiment, the objectives are first to come up with a homogeneous mixture, second to separate the components of the mixture, third to demonstrate a method of separating a components of a mixture, and lastly to restore the original component from, from the beginning of the experiment. A mixture is a substance made by mixing other substances together, one classification of which is a homogeneous mixture which the components make up the mixture are uniformly distributed throughout the mixture. Apparatuses and chemicals that are needed Steering rod, beakers, activated charcoal, dye, and water. Pour about 150 ml of water in a 250 ml beaker. Add a pinch of venous powder or dye and use a stirring rod to mix the solution until the powder is fully dissolved. As we take a look at the solution, we can depict that the solute, venous powder, is dissolved in the solvent, which is water, and that the water is taking the color of the solute. This is because the molecules of the solute are so thoroughly intermixed within the molecules of the solvent that they do not se settle out or separate. Adsorption is the adhesion of atoms, ions, or molecules from a gas, liquid, or dissolved. Next step is to separate the components of the homogeneous that we now have. For this, add a tablespoon of activated charcoal in the solution. Steer the solution. Continue the process until the color is separated from the solution.
activated carbon is an affected adsorbent because it is highly porous material and provides a large surface area to which contaminants may adsorb. The color of the solution is now absorbed as the water turns clear. Decantation is the process of separation of liquid from solid and other immiscible or non-mixing liquids by removing the liquid layer at the top from the layer of solid or liquid below. To separate the water layer at the top from the layer of activated charcoal and restore the original component from the beginning of the experiment, tilt the mixture and pour out the water as we transfer it to another beaker. This is the process of decantation. Remember that in transferring liquid from one vessel into another, care must be taken to avoid the liquid spilling down the edge of the vessel from which it is being poured. To demonstrate, hold a glass rod against the beaker's lip, with one tip touching the side of the empty beaker, which is the receiver, and gently pour the water into the empty beaker. The water is now being separated and is back to its original composition.